Uh, what does it mean having Al Tariq back to you guys? It kind of lets you play off ball a little more if you would if you would want. Um, I think it's a, a great addition for our team uh, just to have him fully healthy and and playing the way he he plays. I think it enables guards like myself, uh, Terrence Smith, uh, Christian Vitale, Brendan Allen, all of us to not have to bring the ball up every time to get off the ball and kind of get in like the scorer's mindset and let him create for us. Uh, so it, it's a great addition for our team. Um, what part of your game did you look to improve most this summer? Um, I think, of course, uh, my jump shooting. Um, but I think overall just reading the game, um, I think I've taken a step in uh, reading different defensive schemes and stuff like that. And what kind of steps go into to trying to work on something like that? You know, it's not like you're just in the gym putting up jumpers. You know, what what's the mentality? What's the process to do something like that? Um, I think it's just uh, watching film, watching a lot of different NBA games, different college games, and then just looking back on mistakes that I've previously made uh, uh, in my past years. And then I think another thing that helps is just different, uh, just getting a lot of reps. So in practice, uh, when, when coaches have us working on different uh, ball screen coverages, just working on those and notice, and, and just having that mindset that other teams are going to probably try to use these type of schemes as well. Right. Um, what personal goals do you have set for this upcoming season? Um, I'd say just to become a better, better player and better leader than I was last year um, and just take our team a little further. Um, I think personally, for me, I want to be able to get our team over the humps in, in those games that are winnable. So that's those are the goals that I personally want to take on. And then what are the team goals for this season? Our team goes, uh, make it to March, uh, get in the tournament and, and see what UConn could do. I think that's, that's the one goal we have is, is just to get to the tournament. Um, what have been the best changes that you've seen with Coach Hurley as head coach so far? Um, I think intensity and accountability um, holds everyone accountable. Uh, he sets he sets his standards, and if people aren't living up to him, then he then there's punish, uh, punishment that you got to face. So everyone kind of stays off the punishment side. So everyone's just kind of lifted their stuff up, whether it's on the court, off the court. So you just see the whole culture of our team changing. Right. We talked with Coach. He was talking about, you know, he's making the practices extra hard. You know, he really wants to work you guys, but he knows it's best for you. Is that something you guys have kind of accepted? You're, you're ready to take it. You're, you know, the punishments are there, but you know that they're there for a reason, and they're going to help you guys get better. Yeah, most definitely. Every day coming into the gym, uh, we know practice is going to be very, very intense, uh, and we know we're going to be exhausted after. But we know at the, we know, like he always says, suffer now and forever. Uh, reap the rewards. So, I mean, we it's it's tough in the moment, but when you look at the, the bigger picture, it'll be worth it in the end. That's great. Um, what does it mean for you guys to have no players transfer this season? You've got a lot of your core group back. You know, has that really helped you guys not having to have too many adjustments to new players and trying to, you know, restart every single year kind of like that? Um, I think it, it, it's big for us. I think we just kind of spend more time around each other uh, and, and connect on and off the court and I think it, it's translating to on the court uh, as of recently we could we've been playing a lot better than we were in the summer and I think it's just all being familiar with each other knowing where someone likes the ball knowing what gets someone going so I think we're all just figuring out how to how to read each other and how to get each other going and you talked about those summer workouts you know it seemed like everybody was in the gym working really hard this summer who was starting that conversation? You know, who was the one motiv motivating people to get in there early in the morning or late at night? You know, it seems like everybody was bought in. What what went into that? What started that? Because that was all voluntary on your guys' part, right? Uh, yeah, most of it. I think uh, it started with like Altariq and, and Christian Vitel. Uh, those guys just kind of getting in the gym and doing their doing their own thing, and and people just seeing them in the gym like, oh, you working out? And then I'm I'm gonna go in the gym workout. And then when Sid Wilson sees me in the gym, he's like, all right, I see. I've seen your guard in the gym. I'm going to go get in the gym as well. Then after that, before you know it, everybody kind of has their own routine. Everyone's getting in the gym, uh, getting shots up together. So it's just great to see uh, positive effects rubbing off on each other. Um, what have you guys been doing to help uh, Brendan Adams get used to UConn, uh, as well as Taryn? You know, he's got some experience, but he's still new to campus as well. Um, just, just being around them, uh, I think they kind of 
they know what to expect. They know what, what it's like here a little bit just from the summertime. Uh, so the school year, it doesn't really change much. It's just more more attention on us. Uh, so, uh, but I think I think they're they're ready for all of that. So, yeah. Um, what do you feel you would need to do this season to cement yourself among the UConn greats? Um, I think just win. I think just be on a great a great UConn team. Uh, all the all the great uh, guards, bigs, or whoever they are, they've all been on on winning teams, and that's 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 what it is in life. Uh, when you win, that's when you can be up there with the with the best of the best. Um, as a senior, what's it been like as a leader of this team? Um, it's definitely challenging um, because me, I'm not really like that that vocal on the court. Uh, Oh, I wasn't in, in previous years. I wasn't that vocal in the court. I kind of had to take like back seats to seniors, uh, even though like I was the point guard. So it's kind of hard to to manage the the like feelings of uh, my teammates and still pleasing coach. But um, coach is, is helping me work on that, and I think it's I'm developing into a better leader every day. So the guys are listening, and and we're getting good uh, results. So it's definitely working. And then, what are the biggest differences between this year and last? It could be in your game, it could be the team with the new coach. What are the biggest differences you're seeing heading into this season? I think what I, with the whole team, I think we're just becoming a more uh, tougher team, a grittier team, diving for loose balls, taking charges, stuff that we, we wasn't really doing last year. Um, I think our whole team is going to have a, um, a whole different... Um, I don't even know what it is, but like when people think of like our team, they're going to have a different idea of than they did last year.